We're actually at Reaction Engines test site at B9. What is very significant about this is that we are in the process of testing a very, very important development in aerospace propulsion, which is a, a pre-cooler, a device for cooling the air, entering a high-speed engine, so that the engine can continue to operate pretty much as normal. This means that uh, we're going to be able to fly at speeds of Mach 5 pretty easily in the future. The main thing that we've got on display is this very advanced piece of technology which is, is really the only new thing in the engine and that is a heat exchanger which in slightly over a ton can cool air at the rate of about 400 megawatts. That is an astronomical cooling rate in a piece of equipment of that sort of weight. That means that we will transform high-speed uh, aviation. There are two applications for the uh, work that uh, you see behind me at the moment. The first one, the one that we're really, really interested in, is that enables an aeroplane, very, very much a, a fast aeroplane, but an aeroplane nonetheless, to take off, uh, accelerate up to five times the speed of sound, uh, turn itself subtly into a rocket, and then fly into orbit, do a job, return, come back again. The second thing that uh, it enables is very high speed terrestrial aircraft. So, for example, a aircraft carrying 300 passengers could go from Europe to uh, Australia in about four hours, four and a half hours. We have no competitors. We are unique. This is the only engine like it that is being developed in the world at the present time. The main breakthroughs that we've made is that we know how to design and build these heat exchangers. That has been a very, very demanding task. It's taken us many years to find out just how to do that. Now, you've got to make big investment to find out that we've made the big investment, we've got all that information. We're looking at a revolution in transportation equivalent to the jet engine and uh, access to space, access to anywhere in the world within four hours is on the cards. Once you've got access to space on that basis, that's the stepping stone to anywhere in the universe and a very exciting future for the human race.